Kim, what uh, is your assessment of this first edition of Connected to Success? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here and giving me the thank opportunity you. to comment. Um, my reaction is that it has so far been an incredible success. The enthusiasm we have seen has been amazing, and the enthusiasm has extended beyond women business owners to the corporations that are participating and to the universities that are participating. We currently have 196 women registered in the program, which is absolutely amazing. We were told by WeConnect, which handles the registration, that they have never ever in this short period of time, this has only been since October, have received this kind of response. Um, additionally, we have 24 of the largest corporations in Portugal serving as corporate mentors for our, for actually 28 different mentees. Some of those corporations are taking on more than one mentee. And each corporation will be putting together teams of three to five mentors. So what that really means is that there are at least 100 people from large corporations participating in mentoring 28 women, which is pretty amazing. On top of that, we have the five top business programs in Portugal involved in our MBA consulting project. And That's the second phase of, of the program, yes. It, it is, yes. it is. And this spring, we are so excited. All for the, Actually, this semester, uh, University of Porto Business School, Nova Business School, Ishkite Business School, Catalica, and Lisbon MBA are all offering to their masters and MBA students the opportunity to take as an elective a course where the business school students are going to form essentially a consulting group and work with one woman-owned business for the semester to help her solve a problem. So at the end of the semester, she's going to walk away with a solution to a business problem, and the MBA students are going to walk away with real practical experience. They're going to have the opportunity to network and meet business owners, and they're going to be introduced to new industries through the program. And to give you an idea of the reaction from the um, MBA and master's students, the groups were supposed to be composed of the consulting groups, three to four students. We re received a call at the embassy by one of the universities wanting to know if they could expand the size of the consulting group to uh, five because they have such student interest. That want to, to be part in the program. Exactly. And for this semester, we expect there to be 15 women-owned businesses who will have a problem solved by the end of the semester. And all of these, these two programs that I'm talking about, the corporate mentoring program, which is for a year, and the MBA consulting program, we, we expect them to continue on. As a matter of fact, we've been told by many of the universities that they're going to offer this consulting elective in the fall as well. So we are really, really excited. So we're getting the enthusiasm from the universities, from the students, and going back to the corporations a minute. I can't begin to tell you how many corporations have put in calls and wrote letters to the embassy thanking them for the opportunity to show corporate social responsibility. Apparently, there are a number of corporations out here that are looking for ways to give back, and we've provided it to them. That's so right. I am very excited. 